So there's a flying object outside that is making a lot of noise, aka helicopter. So if you hear anything loud in the background, it's that. But anyway, I am here to do an updated art supplies. I was gonna say tour, sorry. <laughs> um, an up updated art supplies video. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm still sick, sorry. Um, because I am constantly getting questions about what type of watercolor set is that or what sketchbook is that and I can understand because I do get new followers and new subscribers and by the way hello if you're new honestly I, I have made it so much easier for you guys but I don't think you guys look down in the description box I spent so much time listing all of my supplies down below with links so if you're curious and want to know what <clears throat> materials I use and where I bought it from, it's down below, okay? <laughs> Let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna start off with my pens, inks, pencils, whatever, writing utensil, or drawing utensil. Anyway, Micron pens. So, I love these pens a lot. <laughs> I have five different points. I have it in 005, 01, 02, 03, and 05. Oh yeah. And lately I have been gravitating towards the 01 and 02 lately. Before I used to always use 005 for like quick sketches first because it's so thin. Um, but since I haven't been urban sketching lately, I haven't really been using it. I have a Copic Multiliner in 0.03. I did have a set of the Copic Multiliners, but they didn't last very long. And I think I need to, <laughs> I need to dispose of this one too because you can't even see the point. It's so small because I put too much pressure on it. <laughs> I like this point a lot. It's the thinnest point and I wish Micron pens had it. Um, but their thinnest point is 0 0.05. But yeah. I don't really like the cap though because this part comes off pretty easily. I mean, right now it doesn't. <laughs> Cause it's shy, but anyway. Yeah, sometimes when I clip it in my bag, this or when I open the cap, sometimes it comes off too. So, yeah, that's the only downside. Um, and then I have a Prismacolor brush tip marker. Looks like this. And then I have another brush ink marker by Pentel. I like using this for, I mean, I'm not really into calligraphy. I do like to write because, yeah, I just do. <laughs> um, and I used this for my Inktober last year, so it's pretty fun to work with. And then I have my mechanical pencil. This is the Graph Gear 500 in 0 0.3. I love this. Along with that, I have the Pencil Click Eraser. And then I have some extra lead. And then I have this General's, I guess, Graphite. But I've had this since college. I just found it lying around. Um, so it's just a big piece of lead, Graphite. And sometimes I just like to use it for shading or just really quick you know, sketches in my sketchbook. I don't know, I just like playing around with it. <laughs> and then I have this compass, which I've had since high school, <laughs> but I like using it if I need to draw a perfect circle. So yeah, comes in handy. And then I have this Higgins black ink, which I also had since college. Um, it's like 
less than halfway through. Um, but I, I don't know where it's at. I have a bamboo brush that I use this with, so I just can't find it. Okay, what should I go to next? Maybe I should go with, let's go with paints. Paints, paints, paints. So my watercolor. I've been getting a lot of questions about this and, oh, that was weird. <laughs> Did you hear that? My throat makes these weird noises. Anyway, so I bought this um, palette box on Amazon. I will leave a link down below if you're interested. Um, but this is supposed to hold 12 half pans. But I was able to um, fill it up with my 24 half pans, which is by Schminka. So this is what it looks like inside. This is pretty similar to my Schminka um, palette box, but it's just smaller. And these are all of the colors from Schminka. Uh, they're not really secure, honestly. <laughs> I don't have anything to... Um, stick them with. I did have a adhesives that I was going to use, but I don't have any more. Duh. Good thing I have this flap right here, so it does keep it secure if I'm bringing it along with me. But I've been loving this a lot. Yeah, it's Schminka 24 half pans. And I love it. It's so compact. And next I have my gouache paint, which honestly I don't use too often but I tried to find days where I can use it. <laughs> so I have this art box where I put them all in. So these are by Windsor and Newton. They're designers gouache. So I'll just, I guess I'll list them for you. <laughs> so I have one in ultramarine, permanent white, I can't even pronounce this. <laughs> Playtho, play, play, Playtho, Playtho, blue, ivory black, magenta, burnt sienna, <clears throat> burnt umber, viridian. Cadmium Red, Alizarin Crimson, Light Purple, Permanent Green Light, Yellow Ochre, and Cadmium Yellow. So bright. So I did buy these empty watercolor pans, which I was going to use for this. But I decided to use it for my gouache and it didn't turn out very well because <laughs> they all fell out. So it was kind of lame. No waste of my time. Oh, see? Look at that. That was worth a try, right? Okay, let me clean this up. So the next paint that I'm going to show you, I don't have them all with me right now because my dad and I use the same paint. Um, but this is by Liquitex. So I've been using this brand since my college years and I just love it till this day. I love it so much. Um, but right now I just have these colors with me. Um, the Ivory Black, Titanium White, Unbleached Titanium. Ugh, this is a long word, but it's just a blue shade with some green tints in it. <laughs> God, why are you going to make it so long? Anyway, yeah, it's a nice deep blue color. Sap green permanent. And cerulean blue. Hoo-hoo. So those are the paints that I have currently. Now... What's next? Let's 
talk about the brushes, okay? So, <clears throat> for on the go, I use this Pentel Aquash water brush, which I have used for over three years now, and I love it. It's so easy to use. And then I have a Niji water brush, which I like too, but it's kind of, uh, I don't know. I like this one better. <laughs> so some of these are for watercolor and then some of these are for acrylic. Let's see. Mm, what is this one for? I think this one's for gouache. Okay, let me try to separate them. Okay, uh, this one. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. This is so impromptu, guys. So for watercolors, I have the silp, uh, silver, <laughs> silver black velvet. Um, I have it in the oval shape, and then I have two rounds in the size four and six. This one really holds water well. And then I have the Da Vinci Cosmo Top Spin in size six round I believe and then these two I think I bought this for my gouache um, but I can use this for watercolor whatever so this is the Princeton Art and Brush Co um, this one too this one's in the round zero and this is six the artist loft big brush look at this just something to play around with but yeah it sheds a lot so these brushes are the master's touch for acrylic paint and it kind of, it came in a whole set so I have one in bright 18 the filbert 12 The 12 round, the flat five, the round eight. I have the small fan in the size seven. I have a liner, <coughs> excuse me, in size four, and the detailer in size two. So those are all my brushes, and it comes in this, well, it didn't come in it, but this is my little jar full of, you know, my favorite shape. And I have this tape that I use pretty often for anything. Um, okay, miscellaneous things or this. I'll go with the sketchbooks because that's important <laughs> okay so I have a few here oh my god so let's start off with my Lloyd's term my 1917 sketchbook it's in what size is this the medium sized but I just use this for quick sketches it's really just random stuff um, but... I got this one from my parents for Christmas. It's the handbook, travel e-log. I don't know what size this is, but it's a square size, which I like. It's really nice. Um, <clears throat> so I've just been using this for, I don't know. A lot of these sketchbooks I just use for practicing, so. I just have like some quick sketches that I've done last month, so. And then, like I showed you in my last video, my intuitive line series, just playing around. So this is a really cool sketchbook. I love the, f <clears throat> the cover, it's so soft. <laughs> okay, so these two are from Stillman and Burn. And 
Okay, this one is the Zeta series. This is their pocket sized. I haven't been using this as much because, like I said, I haven't been urban sketching and I mainly was gonna use this for urban sketching, but I just haven't been going out lately. So, <clears throat> yeah, just whatever. And then this is my journal, which I haven't been filling out because nothing eventful has been happening. Um, but yeah, don't worry, I will, I will fill it out eventually. It's just lately I haven't been doing anything fun or anything cool to document but this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it yet oh my gosh okay yeah so <clears throat> my last entry was a women's march if you haven't seen it on my instagram so awesome oh yeah so the, this one is their beta series and i really love both of them because the paper is my favorite um, I'm very much into the extra white paper. I don't really care for... I mean, I like this one. And I don't mind the paper. Like, the color is more ivory toned. But I favor extra white paper more. I don't know. It just looks more clean. I highly recommend these sketchbooks. I cannot stress it enough. And I have this one I bought recently. It's just the, what is this one? I forgot. Oh, Strathmore. It's just a sketch pad. Um, just one that I can just bring along with me anywhere I go. Um, like if I just want a really quick sketch down and it just, less bulk in my bag, so. I didn't like the cover, so I ended up just making my own. And of course, it's black because I'm simple as heck. So, yeah, just quick stuff. And it's funny because I feel like, not that I'm a spy or anything, but it just it just makes me feel like I'm like Harriet the Spy because, you know, she has, a, she has like a notebook and a pen. But hers is a composition notebook. But anyway, I just feel cool with this with me. <laughs> I don't know why. <clears throat> and then I recently bought this Canson um, illustration pad, which I've used in the past. It's, this isn't my favorite. It's just I really needed some new paper pads for the meantime. But my favorite is by Arsh. They don't have it at Michael's, and I don't know if they have it at Hobby Lobby. The only place I can get it at is at Blick and I just don't want to drive over there. <laughs> it's kind of a drive from where I live. So eventually, once I finish this pad, I'm gonna go head over to Blick and buy some new paper, my favorite watercolor paper. Before I go, I just want to share some miscellaneous tools that I use pretty often. I have my scissors here by EK Tools. It's so sharp it needs a cover. <laughs> I have this awesome scotch adhesive dot roller. I use this a lot for my journaling and it's just awesome. You can refill it. And then I have a bone folder, which is awesome to use to make perfect creases in paper. And then I found my bamboo brush, which looks like a flute, but it's not. <laughs> so I, dip it in my black ink and then if I want to do some fun calligraphy or whatever or just you know it's really cool to use so those are my supplies my current supplies of 2017 and it may change in the future but for now this is what I have and this is what I use and I hope this video is very helpful to you because that's always a good thing so that is it. I hope you all are having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.